Hi, this is Brendan with QZAC Prep with another video on how to help you cram for the ACT when you're studying just at the last minute. So what we have is a video discussing how you can cram for the ACT science section. Now the ACT science section is a kind of a lot like the reading section, like it's a little bit hard to cram for because it's not really a content-based test. It's more testing your ability to interpret passages and uh, understand experiments. It's not easy to cram for, but there's a few tips that can help you as you take the test. The first thing you really want to think about, again, like the reading section is your pacing. The science section has 40 questions spread out over seven passages, and you have 35 minutes to get through it. That's not a lot of time. You have about five minutes per passage. So if you haven't taken a practice test before, Go ahead and take a practice test, and even if you can't get through the full test tonight, just try to pace yourself for five minutes on every single passage so you have an idea of what that feels like, kind of that mental clock that's going to be going off as you take it. Um, it's hard to get it under five minutes for all the passages, especially if you're not familiar with this type of test, or if maybe you don't have a very rich science curriculum at your high school. However, you should know that the ACT science doesn't really test science per se. It's not testing your understanding of physics or chemistry or biology or environmental science or, you know, whatever it may be. It's really just testing your ability to read graphs and to interpret experiments. Uh, while every once in a while it seems like there's a question that you do need some outside knowledge for, and it's certainly helpful to have taken physics, chemistry, and biology, it's not essential. So as far as the science section goes, there's really only a few general tips I can provide you with. It's, again, one of the harder sections to cram for. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is make sure you know the difference between independent and dependent variables. In a controlled experiment, an independent variable is the one that you change. So for example, this plant behind me, that side, oh, over there. What we're trying to do with this plant is maybe we have 10 of these plants and we're trying to figure out how watering the plant changes the height the plant grows to. Uh, in that case, your independent variable is the water, how much water you give the plant each day. The dependent variable is the height. So we control how much water we give the plant. But then dependent upon that, uh, we figure out how much the plant grows. Other tips, you want to pay really close attention to data trends. If you have a table and you can see that one of the, the, the general trend is something is increasing, maybe the plant height, as the amount of water increases, you want to make note of that as you read the passage. It's just something that you want to be able to pick out and recognize pretty quickly. Uh, also notice things like inverse trends. As something goes up, something else goes down. So for example, if I were to put that plant in a very cold room, uh, probably the more hours a day I would put the plant in the room, uh, maybe the less it would grow. You want to pay very close attention to axis labels, particularly on charts, graphs, and any other figures that they present you with. Uh, very often the answer is actually in the axis labels. And if you don't read the labels carefully and if you don't understand what's happening there, you can have a very, very hard time answering the question. Chart titles are also helpful. They can help you decide where you need to go. Um, other tips, a lot of times the questions reference specific charts or specific tables. Um, make sure you go and you look at that correct figure or that correct table and only that correct figure or table. If the question says based on figure one, don't look at table two. You want to only look at figure one and then answer it appropriately, generally by looking at the trends in the labels. Uh, so that's really it. Um, it's very hard to try to explain the science passage. It's really something where you have to dig into it. You have to go ahead and read a few science passages, uh, answer some of the questions related to these topics, get a sense of the pacing, get a sense of the kinds of questions that they ask. Hope this helps. Uh, if you're just watching this the day before the test, good luck. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, share it with all your friends. Um, here to help everyone. Thanks.